Good morning, happy Monday. It's the start of a new week. I am just getting ready. It's like mm, a little bit before seven and I am going to shower, but just my body. And I am just going to spray the heck out of my hair with dry shampoo because I do not want to wash it because I just washed it yesterday. I like to do that first as a side note. Um, and then I like to put on a shower cap when I'm in the shower. And I just feel like that extra time helps the um, dry shampoo absorb a lot of the oils. And then I can, um, depending on how well it works that day or how oily my hair is, I can either put my hair up and I can style it or I can um, actually wear my hair down. So we shall see. I am using two different types of dry shampoo. Oops. Um, one is from Batiste and then the other one is the Chlorine one. I'm just really trying to use up the, the Batiste one which is actually really great. I just get it from the drugstore, uh, either Shoppers or Rexall, whichever one is on sale. And uh, yeah, I really like it. The scent is nice and I also like how this one is catered to dark hair. I find that the trick with dry shampoo is spraying it quite far away. And constantly shaking it, especially for, well, for any of them. Okay, I'm just going to put my shower cap on and I'll be back. Okay, I'm heading to work now. Uh, hair is up because it just did not work down. Yeah, I am just wearing this is a cashmere sweater from Lord & Taylor, black, and then um, these like plaid pants, which I'm not a huge fan of, but I'll wear them anyway. They're in my closet, so I might as well wear them. It's winter in Canada currently, so in the morning it is very cold and blistery, and then in the afternoon it kind of milds, milds up or milds down or gets mild. So I never know what kind of jacket to wear, so I always wear like a parka in the morning and then I'm like sweating by the time it's an afternoon. I'm home and another Hudson's Bay parcel arrived today, so I'm gonna show you guys. It's actually in really nice fancy packaging. So this is what it looks like. This is the first time I've ever seen Hudson's Bay use like tissue paper and it has like this nice sticker on it. So, um, one of these is for me and then the other one is actually a gift that I'm giving to my boss which is this one these are my favorite brand of shortbread cookies um, so I got this from the bay it's like their little collab but I'm so excited for this I'm just in the middle of editing a vlog that I'm going to upload tomorrow but first I thought I would open day what day is it today 18 on my advent calendar okay so day 18 is over here what is in here? Uh oh. I've opened so many doors that the structural integrity of this advent calendar is becoming questionable. Ooh. Body lotion? I love, I already mentioned this a bunch of times, but I really love the, um, almond line from Lost Chan, so I am excited for this. Good morning and happy Tuesday. Um, it is the 19th today. I'm actually expecting a couple of parcels today, so they're like some last minute stocking stuffers for, well, one stocking stuffer for the boat, and then um, my big present to my mom. I got her AirPods this year because she has, <laughs> I don't know, I guess she's, she, the struggle to find um, good wireless uh, or Bluetooth uh, earphones for her is, is actually a struggle. She's probably gone through like three or four in the last 18 months. And she actually really enjoys using the OEM earphones uh, from Apple, like the ones that just come with an iPhone. And so I thought I'd get her the AirPods. Um, so they're supposed to arrive today. The only thing is they are gonna drop them off at the door because they don't need a signature apparently. And I probably won't be home till late because I have a doctor's appointment later today. And then right after that, I'm actually having dinner with the beau and my mom. So we probably won't be home till later. Um, hopefully the beau can grab them, put them inside before he comes over to meet us for dinner, but we'll, we'll see. Uh, anyway, I thought I would show you guys what 
my morning skincare routine is like because I always get questions and I'll probably do a more in-depth one because I have to do this one rather quickly because I'm actually going to work early today but I'll just talk about the products that I use very very quickly and like I said I'll probably do a more in-depth one um, in the new year but my skincare routine has been really simple these last I guess few months I suppose that's relative um, I think it's been simple I single cleanse in the morning and I use a CeraVe hydrating um, cleanser this is not obviously the original packaging original packaging looks like this this is as you can see slightly taller and um, I think I might have mentioned it in a vlog but um, my vanity sits kind of low so I can't have too high of a product. Um, it's kind of awkward to store it. Anyway, so I single cleanse with that, and then I will go in with a hyaluronic acid, which is the Hot Lava one. I'll also use uh, sometimes an essence or a toner. So um, I don't really go full on with the skincare in the morning. Usually I do that in the evenings, but I'll either use this one, which is new. It's a secret key, new to me, secret key um, starting essence. Um, I'll also sometimes occasionally use the um, Tea Tree Refresh Calming Toner depending on how my skin is feeling. Uh, if my skin is very red and if I kind of feel any bumps on my skin, then I will use a toner just to kind of calm everything down. Then I will go in with my niacinamide, which I absolutely love. I also am using the EUK 134 ginseng eye cream and then I will top it with a layer of moisturizer. So I use a combo of the natural moisturizing factors from The Ordinary and then the Beauty Flash Balm from Clarins. And that is my morning skincare routine. Oh, and then I'll usually top it with a sunscreen. If you follow me on Instagram, you all know that I'm doing kind of a project pan. There are products that I want to use up before the end of the year, and this is one of them. And look how close I am to using this up. This is the Chanel Bronze Universal. I've had this for so long, and it still applies beautifully. It hasn't, um, yeah, it hasn't gone off, surprisingly, because it's a cream product. But I just have so little of this left. I'm going to use this every day until the end of the year and hopefully I can finish it up. So I was trying to use up four products and I only have two left. This is the other one. Um, it's the Hourglass Ambient Palette. So I've used up both of these and I just need to use up this middle one. Which I feel like on my skin tone it kind of, I don't know, I can't apply too much because it looks a bit ashy. So I have to use it sparingly, which sucks because that means it'll take me longer to use up. Hello, I am heading to work. It's like I said a bit earlier than I would normally go to work. I'm using my fancy little ring light <laughs> so you guys can see me. What did I want to tell you guys? Oh, okay, so uh, a couple years ago, um, as a Black Friday special with my phone company, I'm with Fido, they had this promo where if you like got this particular plan you could get uh, two years free with Spotify and I did that I've been using Spotify premium for the last two years and I kind of grown to love it but since um, my two-year uh, freebie is over I thought I would give Apple music another try just to see if um, you know it's any good and I've been using it for like the last two weeks it's $9.99 first of all, for a subscription, and it sucks. <laughs> I don't know, if you guys use Apple Music or any kind of streaming um, subscription service, let me know which your favorite is, because after using Spotify for two years, and even though I haven't been using Apple Music for very long, it just sucks. The user interface is weird. The playlists kind of suck. <laughs> There was this playlist that I was listening to on Spotify. It was called New Pop Rising or Pop Rising. And it is more like pop, hip hop music, but it is from, I guess, artists that um, I may have never heard of before or probably are not gonna be on like the top 40 on the radio. 
and I really liked that playlist and I was trying to find something similar in Apple Music but there is none so I don't know I just don't like it as much and if I'm gonna pay for a subscription for one of these services you know I just don't feel like Apple Music deserves that $9.99 and oh, I also have a holiday playlist. Oh, that's what made me think of it because I'm listening to a Christmas playlist right now on Apple Music and it's also not as good as the Spotify one. So kind of bummed out about that. Okay, we're home and the AirPods arrived today. So they actually weren't supposed to be shipped or no, arrive until tomorrow. And then I checked today and it said that it was going to arrive today. And then a couple hours later, it said that it was delayed. It would arrive again tomorrow, but it's still, Got delivered so very odd but i'm gonna open it up only because i am going to wrap it i'm not gonna obviously open it fully but i'm just gonna take it out of the outer packaging to wrap it i also got one more hudson's bay parcel this is the last thing that i'm expecting i don't personally own airpods and i've never really been interested but if these turn out to be really nice then maybe i will pick up a pair for myself they have an option for a gift message and I thought they would put it on a card. It's not on the packaging and the only place I see it is this little tiny print on the packing slip that says gift message, Merry Christmas. What the F? How lame is that? Anyway, I am going to wrap these now. Um, they look really nice though. Uh, very simple, simple packaging. Um, these were in Canada, it's $219 for this. Okay, wrapping is done. This is the gift for my mom, the AirPods. This is a gift for um, my sister-in-law, so the Bose sister. And <laughs> you guys might remember this bow. I actually reused it. It's so pretty, I didn't want to um, throw it out. So it fits around this gift. Uh, I actually had to adjust it slightly, but <laughs> I, I reused, or I, I don't know, I re-gifted this bow. Is that what that is called? Um, but I just liked it so much and I didn't want to toss it out. So um, yeah, it uh, was a little snug, so I kind of just loosened it a little um, and it uh, luckily stayed its shape, so might actually be upside down now that I'm looking at it, but I'm not going to remove it because it was a B-I-T-C-H to put on. <laughs> Good morning. It's been a while since you guys have been in my office. It looks pretty much the same. Oh, let me turn on my Christmas tree. Beautiful and festive as you can see. Um, yeah, uh, second day hair. Can you tell? Because my hair is up. Um, I just wanted to show you guys quickly what um, Christmas gift I got from my VP this year. So last year it was a Swarovski pen. The year before that it was, I believe, a Starbucks traveler mug. And then this year it's from Lositan. It's been a very Lositan holiday for me because of my advent calendar and now this. So beautifully packaged. Um, came with a card and then two goodies. So there's a Laura Secord frosted mint chocolate bar. I've never had Laura Secord chocolate in a really, really, well, I, I've had it, but I haven't had it in a really, really long time. I haven't actually even had their ice cream in a long time, ever since I discovered Cortha Dairy. And then we got this little bubble. So it's actually a Christmas ornament and then it has the um, shea butter products inside. I think I've received all of these in my advent calendar actually so I'm pretty excited because I actually quite like um, this line. I just noticed that all of, well not all, but a lot of ordinary products are now available on Sephora but if I try to open it, <laughs> it won't let me purchase anything. I don't know. It said it was a 24 hour app early access so maybe they just haven't quite figured it out yet but it's for every single product good morning it is thursday december 21st and i am just getting ready for work i didn't feel very well yesterday so i didn't get a chance to do my advent calendar or open the advent calendar for day 20 um, so I'll do day 20 this morning and then I'll do 21 when I get home from work. I'm working a little bit late today, so I won't be home till probably like 7, 7.30. But it is almost the weekend, which I'm excited about. I just need 
a little break. I'm looking forward to it. It's been a while since I have used my Alice and Olivia mug from Starbucks. I still think it's super cute. The um, gold here has is fading a little bit and the tutu could probably use a wash, um, but haven't broken it yet, so kudos to me. Okay, let's open up day 20. Oopsies. Oh. This is, ooh, the Cherry Blossom Shimmering Lotion. I actually quite like the scent of the Cherry Blossom um, body wash, so I'll probably really like this one too. Hi, I am home. I'm just about to have dinner, but first I am going to change. Um, it's been a long day. <laughs> I was at work for an extra hour um, doing a work thing, and it was overall a good day though, but very, very long. Um, I still have to open day 21 of my advent calendar. I can't believe that we are at day 21 already. I don't know what I'm going to do for the rest of December not being able to open a day in the advent calendar. Sometimes I wish that these advent calendars went for the entire month of December. I feel like that would be so much more fun because after Christmas, it's like, wah, wah. I am definitely going to take a bath tonight. I know I've been saying that, but I really, really need one. It's been kind of a difficult last couple of days. Anyway, I am going to open day 21 of my advent calendar. Uh, day 21. Oh, I might as well take this one out of here. This is from this morning, day 20. Um, day 21 is over here. Let's see, what is in here? Ooh, hand cream. I'm kind of obsessed with the hand cream. It's definitely been in good use because, you know, winter and whatnot. I just used up the second hand cream that I've received in this advent calendar. This one, however, is the... I can't really see. Oh, it's a cooling hand cream. You can kind of read it. Uh, this is what it looks like. Yeah, it smells very much like the Urbana line. So it has... Kind of like a citrusy scent to it. Um, so I am going to use next this one, which I got in a previous day. This is the um, Almond Hand Concentrate. Like I said, these have come in handy because they're just so easy and slim. They're, I throw them in my pocket and I use them constantly because my hands are always so dry. You can probably hear the water running behind me. Um, I'm just waiting for the tub to fill up while I wait for the water to fill up. It's going to take probably a couple more minutes in this big tub. I am going to talk about my nighttime skincare routine. So hopefully you guys can hear me okay. You know, it's kind of loud with the water going. My nighttime skincare routine really changes depending on my skin needs. Um, but I always do, you know, the, the general steps. It's just the actual products might differ. So I always use some sort of toner. Um, currently I'm using the Ordinary um, Glycolic Acid, which I love. I will always use an essence of some sort. So I'm trying to use up this Innisfree Green Tea Essence, uh, which I really like, but I do like this one more, which is the Secret Key. This comes out as more of a, a serum. Not even a serum, it's more of like a cream, like a gel cream. And I just prefer the texture of um, an essence to be more fluid. I always use some hyaluronic acid. So this is the Hada Lava one, which I use morning and night. I actually sometimes will use this like three or four times or like layer it three or four times in the evening. Tub is almost full, but I wanted to show you guys the products that I use before I throw the sugar cube in. Okay, where was I? Um, I will always use some sort of serum. So right now I'm using the Buffet, um, but I will also sometimes use in conjunction or alternating the Alpha Arbutin. Lately I have not been using retinol, but on the days that I do use retinol, I have been going for the retinol 1% in squalane oil. And then for an eye cream, I'm just trying to use up my Advanced um, Night Repair Eye from Estee Lauder. This is okay, um, not mind-blowing, don't really notice a difference in anything, um, and it's also not very hydrating. So. Just really trying to use this up to use it up. And then I will top that all off with a moisturizer. And I've been using the Embryolisse um, 
Les Creme Concentré, which is, I think we call it um, the 24 hour cream here in Canada. And that is my current nighttime skincare routine. So it's pretty simple. Like I said, it changes. Sometimes I add products, sometimes I take products away. Also before all of the skincare stuff, I do do a double cleanse. So right now I'm using the Muji cleansing oil as step one. And then I'm using the CeraVe as a step two. And I will also sometimes exfoliate after that with the um, mild papaya peel gel from the face shop. And if I'm wearing, you know, heavy duty eye makeup or anything like that, I use the micellar water from Garnier. It's the blue one. It's like the Dubai phase version, but it's oil free, which I really like. This is a little travel one. I have a full size one somewhere oh, right here. Um, so this is what it looks like. So as you can see, by phase, and then you just gotta shake it up before you use it. Okay, I am going to drop this sugar cube in. Okay, I am done my bath. It's like 9.15 now. I'm just letting the water drain and then I'm going to bed. So, I will see you guys tomorrow.